Jai Hind children. Our today's topic is to represent rational number on a number line. When it is about to represent integers on a number line, it is very easy. But how can we represent a rational number like minus 4 upon 3 on a number line? Well, it's also not quite difficult. Just you have to keep few things in your mind. Firstly, whichever the rational number you have to draw on the number line or which you have to you show on the number line, Firstly, find out whether that is according to our case 1 or according to our case 2. In any of the rational number, either the numerator will be less than the denominator or the numerator will be greater than the denominator. If numerator is equal to the denominator, then it will be 1 or minus 1. Now, if the numerator is less than the denominator, like you can see for examples 1 upon 3 and minus 1 upon 3, 3 by 4 and minus 3 by 4. These all numbers lie between somewhere between minus 1 and 1. If the number is negative, then it will be between 0 and minus 1. If the number is positive and still the numerator is less than the denominator, the number will also lie somewhere between 0 and and 1. Now, our second case is, if the numerator is greater than the denominator, now you all would, would be wondering, how minus 4 by 3 come into this category? Well, while comparing numerator and denominator, we will just look at their value, that is their absolute value, we will not look at that whether the numerator is negative or whether the denominator is negative. If it is 4 upon minus 7, still it will be under numerator less than denominator because 4 is less than 7. Now, let's have a look at first example. Suppose we have to draw 1 by 3 on a number line. When we are trying to draw 1 by 3, let's take minus 1 upon 3 also. We have to draw 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 on this number line. As I told you, if the numerator is less than denominator and the number is positive it means it will be between 0 and 1 if still the numerator is less than the denominator and the number is negative then it will be between 0 and minus 1 now to draw 1 by 3 on number line Denominator and numerator both gave us some information. Denominator tells us that in how many parts we will divide the line between 0 and 1. Since the denominator is 3, so we will divide 0 and 1 distance in 3 equal parts with the help of 2 lines. Suppose this is the first line and this is the second line. Now this is our part 1. This is our part 2 and this is our part 3. Numerator of the rational number tells us that which part represents 1 by 3 on the number line. Since the numerator is a 1, so from the 0, first part that is 1 upon 3. This is how we will show 1 by 3 on many number line. If it comes to minus 1 by 3, again, since it will be between 0 and minus 1 because the number is negative, we will divide the distance between 0 and minus 1 in 3 equal parts again. This is our part 1, this is our part 2, and this is our part 3. Since the denominator was 3. And the numerator tells us that where the number lies. If the numerator is 1, so from here, the first part, this one will be minus 1 upon 3. Now, what about these two parts? This part tells us that this is what? Minus 2 upon 3. And this one tells us that this is 2 upon 3. Now, if this is 0, this is 1 upon 3, this is 2 upon 3, then how we got here 1? Since it is the third part, so it will be 
3 upon 3 which ultimately gives us the answer 1. So this was the first case how to draw any rational number if the numerator is less than the denominator. Now let's have a look at the second case. In this case when the numerator is greater than the denominator before finding out where the rational number lies on the number line first we have to convert it into the next form let's have a take the first example the rational numbers are 4 by 3 and minus 4 upon 3 we have to show these two rational numbers on this number line. Firstly, if the numerator is greater than the denominator, first we will convert them into mixed form. For converting them into mixed form, we will divide the 3 upon 4. This is an example of 4 upon 3. 3 is the quotient. I'm sorry, 1 is the quotient and 1 is the reminder. So, when wherever we write, we write them in the form of A, B upon C and we take the A, B and C clockwise. So, that is, quotient will be A, reminder will be B and the divisor will be C. So, next form will be 1 whole, 1 upon 3. Similarly, Minus 4 upon 3 can be represented as minus 1 whole 1 by 3. In each of the mix for form, 1 here is the whole number and 1 by 3 is the proper fraction. Whole number and proper fraction, that is numerator and denominator, all give us some information that where this number lies on the number line. Whole number, that is 1, tells us that this number lies between its whole number and the number coming after this. That is 1 and 2. So, 1 whole 1 by 3 lies between 1 and 2. Now we know that on this number line, this number 4 by 3 lies somewhere between 1 and 2. Now, on this specific place, where actually the number is, this tells us x numerator and denominator. Numerator is 1 and denominator is 3. So again like the first case according to the denominator we will divide it into that many equal parts. Here the denominator is 3 so we will divide it in 3 equal parts. This is the first part this is the second part and this one is the third part. Numerator again tells us that out of these three parts, where actually, at which a specific point on this number line, the number actually is. Here the numerator is 1, so number will be somewhere here. 1 whole, 1 by 3, or we can call it 4 by 3. Clearly, if it is 1 whole 1 by 3, so this number will be, yes you are right, 1 whole 2 by 3. And this number is again 2. Okay. Now, similarly if we have to represent mixed form of minus 4 by 3 on this number line, so clearly, like this number lies between 1 and 2, this number will lie, lie somewhere between minus 1 and 
minus 2. So, yeah, keep this thing in your mind. Minus 1 and 0 will not be the answer. This number will not lie between minus 1 and 0. Because this number, the value is 1 whole 1 upon 3. It is somehow greater than 1. But in negative side, it is less than 1. So, we will go left side on the number 9. So, this number lies somewhere between minus 1 and minus 2. Again, according to the denominator, we will divide it into diagonal equal parts. And the first part will be its answer. That is minus 1 whole 1 by 3. Or we can call it minus 4 upon 3. Now, let's have a look at the second example. When we have to show these two numbers on the number line. The next example, 5 by 2 and minus 5 by 2. In the same way, firstly we will convert them into fraction. 2 whole 1 by 2 and minus 2 whole 1 by 2. 2 number here tells us that this lies between 2 and 3 and minus 2 here tells us that this number lies between minus 2 and minus 2. So we will only take care of the distance between 2 by 3 and minus 2 by 2. Let me raise this to avoid the confusion. Yeah. Now, the denominator tells us that in how many parts we will divide the distance between 2 by 3. So, in two parts, yeah, this is the first part and this one is the second part. Then there again, the 2 is the denominator. So, we will divide this distance in these two equal parts. Now, numerator tells us that we are actually the number lies out of 2, first part. So, this will be the number 5 by 2 and this will be the number minus 5 by 2. Hope you have understood how to draw rational numbers on number line. Still, if you do not understand or if you have any doubt, please write me. Uh, till then, next class, your homework is from your NCERT book. Exercise 1.2 and question number 1, 2, and three. Thank you and Jai.